hi everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm letty this is letty sparkle if you're new here i'm a 35 year old crazy makeup person from england i live in bournemouth and i love all things makeup so if you love makeup too please do consider subscribing to my channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss when i'm posting in today's video we're going to be doing this very glam eye look i have already posted the face um video which will be up already so i'll link that up here but this will be just literally for the eyes so a very glam everyday eye look in my opinion it is a little bit glam for some people but it's a very easy christmasy let's get into the christmas spirit i know it's only november but hell 2020 has been a hell of a year for everybody so i think christmas needs to come early and the christmas needs to go on for like a month and a half in my opinion. So if you want to see how I got this um, I look, what products I use, then please just keep on watching. Thank you. Today's video, as you can see, my whole face is pretty much done. I have got a video up on how I do my base and what my favorite current favorite uh, base products are uh, on my foundation routine, shall I say. And I'll link that here. So go and watch that if you haven't watched that already. Um, and today I'm just going to be doing like a kind of like, as we're approaching Christmas, I thought I would do like a kind of um what I would call like everyday glam like this is the sort of look I would happily go out in like during the day to do the school run to do um shopping it is a bit more glamorous than most looks because it's got like glitter and stuff but it's something that's pretty and then you can obviously also vamp it up for the evening so you can add a bit more like darkness um and deepen up that outer corner to kind of make it an evening look if you want it to. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you how I do like soft glam for like every day. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. So I've brought you a bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing to my eyes. And for kind of everyday glam, the palette I use, which is current, which is my favourite palette, I'm not going to lie, is the Tarte Beauty palette. I absolutely love, love this palette. I used it to death last year when I got it and I think it's an amazing palette so um, aside all the drama that comes with um, Tarte and everything like that I um, couldn't care any less to be honest about the drama there um, because it's a great great palette definitely worth the money um, and I was gutted she hasn't released anything else I really, I really really like this palette I think it's a great palette so I'm going to first go in with, I'm going to put a little thing here of the colours I'm using just because obviously it's quite, um, there's not much space here today and I don't want to be fighting for colours. I'm just going to go and get my colour switch. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to go with a big fluffy brush. This is my Sigma, um, what colour is this? This is an E40. Um, it's a big, big fluffy brush like this. And I'm just going to take Soothe, which is like the like transition shade I'd call it, it's like a brown shade. I'm just gonna kind of take that in like my, like crease basically as a transition shade. Now this brush I've had for many years and it is shedding, which is very annoying, but it's a nice brush. And I kind of blend that into like my brow bones just so that it's got a nice, place for everything else to go on top so take a bit more and just bring it in to my inner corner and just below my brow here and then the same on this eye this is a very very simple look it's not going to be anything difficult to do or anything um and this is kind of has a bloody plane going over the house I'll just give it a minute. I live quite close to the airport, to Bournemouth Airport, so I literally live on the flight path. And sometimes they're so low down, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> Anyone that lives in an airport will know what I mean. It's just so noisy. Especially like during lockdown, because we had a lot of planes landing from the NHS and army planes. It was just horrendous. Um, it was really, really scary sometimes. So as you can see, I've kind of blended that in quite high um because i want that to be like my transition shade so that's kind of done now on both sides so you can't really see but you can see there's a little something there um, i'm just going to put a little bit more on this side because i think there's a little bit more on that side than there is on this side now and maybe it's just a little bit higher okay so i had already highlighted my brow bone so that's kind of how it's looking so far so i like how that looks and then what i'm gonna do is go into hmm, what 
shall I do? All my brushes are really, really dirty, so I really need to clean them. Um, I'm going to go into this one. This is an MSQ brush. No, it's a Ruby, sorry. I've got this in a glossy box. It's a Ruby, like big fluffy brush. Very similar to my Sigma one, to be fair. They're very, very similar. They're just not as... This one's just a bit fluffier. And this is like a dual fibre one. So I'm going to go into Ritual, which is like the dark brown. And I'm going to take that like in my inner corner. Like so. And just kind of pop that there. And then just kind of do round motion. <clears throat> And then just kind of do round like motions to kind of blend that out in the inner corner and then blend it in circular motion sorry so not round motions <clears throat> circular motions upward into where i've blended and soothe and just take it in a little bit as well into the inner corner but just very very softly i'm not really pressing hard on it i'm literally holding the brush very very at the end um and just kind of circular motions blending that very very lightly i want it to be really smooth i don't want a harsh like brown line or anything i just can't want it to be very very smooth so just a little bit at a time goes a very very long way and these shades blend amazingly anyway um, another palette you could do this look with which is more affordable is the sophie x palette that's a really good palette and it's got very similar color tones in there as well Although it's a bit more colourful than this palette. Um, but this is probably like one of my favourite palettes ever. And that's kind of all I'm doing. So nothing major. I'm going to do the same on this side and I'll be right back. Okay. So that's both eyes kind of done now. And then what I'm going to go in with like a flat brush. Something like... Like this. It's quite a big brush. But I want it to be dispersed. I don't want it to be like plopping um let it focus i don't want it to like be plopping like a color on so i'm going to go into ritual which is the dark brown and just kind of pat that on my lid kind of mainly on the outer corner like so and then just blending anything else that's left over into the middle bit like so and then with that same brush just kind of blend out the edges okay just like so do the same on this side okay so i kind of love how that's looking and then i'm going to go into one of the shimmer shades on here now and i'm going to go into probably soothe i think um yeah soothe i was going to show you then i just remembered i said i was going to um <laughs> put a little picture on there so i'm going to go with the flat brush this is like a more dense flat brush um if you can see that there it's way more dense it's a bit thinner um, I'm going to go with the clean side. This is the A Spectrum A18. Um, and I'm going to take that shimmer shade in my inner, almost like a cut crease effect, but I'm not doing an actual cut crease, if that makes sense. I want this to be easy to do and not like complicated, but you could easily throw in a cut crease and it would look really nice with this sort of shade or with this sort of look. But this kind of gives the effect of a cut crease without you doing a cut crease. Um, and obviously if you do a cut crease, that line will be a bit more like there, if that makes sense. So okay, I'm just going to go into the edges and blend that out. And then what I'm going to do, let's add a little bit of glitter. So actually I might do a liner first. Mm. So obviously the palette has glitters itself um, and it says actually on the back that the glitters are not eye safe. Um, it says it on here I think um, but I do use them on there. I think what you need to do is just be very careful. Um, obviously I'm not advising you to do any of that so I will do it myself and if you want to do it great. If you don't you don't have to. So what I might do though because I don't want glitter glitter I might go in with one of the Stiller's Stila liquid um, metallic um, liquid eyeshadow. So I have three of them. Now I know that one of them is completely dry and I think it's my favorite that's dry. I think they're all dry actually now. This is uh, my favorite was um, Smoldering Satin. And this one's still wet, yay. So I'm gonna go in with that. So I am not gonna put anything on my eye. I'm just literally gonna go in with that and just kind of tap that on like so 
Oh my god, this is just insane. This is so pretty. And do the same on this eye. Again, because of the type of eyeshadow this is, it will like um, dry and everything. Then I'll go in and I might go in with a little bit of um, Aura Metallic from the Tarte palette and just kind of blend that out a little bit. But that looks beautiful. That is like my favourite glitter from from the... Um, and I'm so glad because the other two have dried out. So I have Kit and Karma and Rose Gold Retro. And Rose Gold Everett has dried out way before. The Smoldering Satin, which is actually my favourite, thank God it's still okay. And that just looks beautiful, doesn't it? It's so metallic. So, so pretty. Um, I'm just going to wait a minute while that dries and then I'm going to pop some eyeliner on. And then I'm going to just go in with this little tiny brush and I'm going to go into Aura and just kind of blend that out with a bit of aura and then I'm going to go in with that same brush no other product and just kind of blend out that like outer corner I'm not adding any other product on there I just kind of do this so I'm just going to go and pop get some eyeliner so for eyeliner I'm really really loving the Huda Beauty um, Life Liner Very Vanta um liquid liner and i really really like this so i'm just going to pop that on i've not used this over a glitter before but actually it works really really well and one thing i like about this palette as well like i've done my base with it and i wasn't worried because i know this palette is so good that there's hardly any fallout i find anyway there's quite a bit of kickback on the pan but that doesn't really bother me fallout doesn't really bother me anyway i'll just normally do my eyes first I'm just gonna do my little line. And that's kind of my line done, so the same on this side. Okay, so that's the eyeliner done. It's not perfect and it's quite wide on both eyes, but it will do. And then I'm gonna go in, so it's got like it's a double-ended eyeliner, this one, and it's got like a cajal on this side. So I normally just warm it up on my hand. And then I pop it in my eye, in my waterline. Again, this sort of step is kind of like up to you. You don't have to do this. But I like how it kind of brings the whole look together. So to me, it's an essential step. And as you can see, that didn't take long. I'm just going to walk a tight line as well. So that's kind of how it looks. I think this eyeliner could be a bit higher, to be honest, because it's a bit low. Um, but I don't really know at this point, like, how I could fix it. So I'm just going to try and just kind of blot it out a little bit at the end with some... Okay. I think once I've got my lashes on and stuff, it'll look okay. So I'm just going to pop my lashes on now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is lashes on. Just a very soft glam. So what you could do for the evening is get like a small brush, something like this is a Spectrum B12, I think. Ooh. Um, A12. I just kind of deepen up that outer corner. But even for the evening, I mean, this is very, very glam for daytime. Um, and I haven't put mascara on this eye, so hang on a sec. Let me just quickly do that. Okay, so I'm just going to bring it out. So I just wanted to do like a quick um, kind of get ready with me. Oh, not get ready with me. Just kind of a quick glam look. This is kind of the sort of look I would be happily going out in at Christmas. I probably would team up with a red lip. Um, I love this sort of like glittery bronzy eye with like a red lip. I think it looks really, really good. I've got black all over my fingers um, from my makeup, but yes. But yeah, I do love it. I think it looks great. I love it with the lashes as well. Um, I've only started wearing lashes this year, so I'm so happy that I finally kind of got the knack of how to put them on and stuff. I think it kind of makes the look that extra bit more glam, so I do love it. Um, 
and I'm so glad that I've started wearing it. Um, I think it looks really, really pretty and I love my green eyes with it as well. So all in all, a very, very good makeup day in my opinion anyway. So yours might be different. So yes, I'm so excited to get this video back to you. Um, this will probably be, be out. So I'm going to post the face on one on Friday and this will probably be out on Monday next week. Um, I'm kind of trying to pre-film much as I can. It's different with my new job. Sometimes I get home and I'm so, so tired that the last thing I want to do is film. So I'm trying really hard to kind of get out of that slump and just get on with it. Because at the end of the day, the only person that can create content for my channel is me. So I kind of have to be a bit more proactive with it um, and do it basically. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this very quick and easy um, channel. If you do recreate this, please do tag me on Instagram. My new Instagram, I'll pop it here, but it's uh, Let Letty's underscore sparkle underscore um as my other one got deleted unfortunately so if you don't follow me on there then please do follow me on there i do post a lot more looks um i post old looks as well now because obviously my instagram was taken down so i've got a lot more looks to post from previous years um and it's really nice to see my journey and how i've improved and things like that so this look is very much a go-to letty look um at this time of year so if you do recreate it i would love 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 to see it so please do um tag me on instagram so i can have a look at your lovely pictures and i might even feature one on my channel on my on my next video if you do so don't forget to tag me on them so i can then show off your skills as well and learn from you too so anyway without further ado i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give a huge big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i shall see you in my next one thank you bye bye Mwah.